something that I found, uh, and I really think it's, it really describes the whole purpose and meaning of well, life and what we're here to do in this world. With the question about the meaning of life, and I think we all ask ourselves that at one point or another. Well, we get later on sidetracked in this world, we look for meaning, like we look for happiness, and we look for whatever it is we look for. But that's really it. Pablo Picasso said that, that the meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give that away, give that gift away. Yeah, this is something that we never learn in school. We forget our purpose. Or we look for purpose in this world. And so, uh, well, I wanted to talk about that for a minute, the importance of that. Well, as a child, I didn't understand that. I, I rebelled against what I have been told is the pur purpose of life. It basically is sitting still in school, listening to a teacher, taking notes, making good grades, so you can move on to another grade in school and the next grade, and then you can graduate, and then one day you get a job and you make money, and that is what we learn about, well, the purpose of life, which is to be successful and to look for happiness and to seek whatever it is we seek. But ultimately, that is really the key, to find within ourselves what is my purpose, what is my gift, so I can give that gift away. And nobody really can tell you what that is for you, even though there are many times that is what's happening, where people are telling us, you should be doing this, or you should be doing that, or you should be more that way. And so I also remember how I rebelled against that. When people told me that this is the way and this is how you need to be. And I also rebelled against that authority, which also was represented by my, my father, who was living his purpose. You know, he was a, a, an artist, he played piano, he conducted an orchestra, and was an extremely gifted man. But of course, like most all parents, want their children to fit the mold, to do what is expected of them so they will be successful in this world. But I never really understood that as a child. I always felt that there was something more, or rather I felt that there was something missing, that there was something not right, to be forced into the mold to be like everybody else. And so I became this rebel who was really going against authority and to a point where nobody could tell me anything. Eventually then, later on in life, I've come to find that, well, you learn for yourself. I'm not really learning for my parents, I'm not learning for a teacher, I'm not learning for society in order to be successful and to get a job. Eventually I've come to find that the learning, that real learning, is about understanding this, which is about my nature, understanding my nature. Finding my talents, finding my, my purpose, which is about finding my gift, and to then give that away. And don't really think about what you get in return, just giving it for the sake of giving, and not worrying about what I get in return. And so my gift, one of my gifts that I'm giving here, and I talk a lot about that, the present and being now, and, and, and being present with one another, the importance of communication, of through this, creating a sense of community as we realize our common unity. And there I've come to find that we are all connected. And that is really what this image is about. That we all share that essence, that we all are one. Something else I've come to find for myself, and that is a gift, is the ability to see myself and others. To know that you are just another me, and I'm just another you. Now that is how I connect with people, when I connect with people. Which also does not happen enough. As uh, I've come to find this, this as my gift, which is all about my love, and when we all have that, that 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 well, that one side, that beautiful side, that creative side, which is well, that's where we find our talent, and that's where our passion is and our creativity is. But then we, what opposes that is the other side, and that is the darkness, and that is the fear, which we all have learned in this world. And through our own experiences, to one degree or another, we've learned about fear. The fear of, of, of not being successful and not being liked by others, and the fear of being misunderstood, and the fear of being alone, and yeah, all that fear which 
is a control mechanism in this world. And I don't really want to go on about, you know, the, the uh, well, which keeps us really from understanding and getting in touch with our beautiful side and our love essence, which is, again, the, the, it's part of the agenda of this world to, to keep the masses in check, get everybody to do what they're supposed to do so the system will work. Again, I've talked about that before, and other people have talked about that, that issue before. It's time for us to go past that, beyond that. And I'm saying that not just to you as a teacher, in my capacity as a teacher, as I've also have found my inner teacher, which is very different from the traditional way of teaching, because you cannot really teach that. But you can learn that. And so I am also sharing that because I am learning this and I want to learn that. But not just learn that, to realize that, but I want to practice that. I want to live that. And that is also the yeah. this concept, realize to actualize, is about. And I believe that is the missing link. And we all are the missing link. Because we all need one another. And we all are talented beyond what we can understand, because we never learned that in school. Because schooling, during our schooling, it distracted us from finding our own gift. We were sidetracked. But now that we are older, and we can look at that, we can be aware of that, now that we are adults, we can begin on that journey to find our own gift. And as we find that, as we realize our own gift, then the actualization, which is a matter of putting this into practice, of practicing that, that's a matter of living it. That's a matter of giving that gift away. And so I, I hope in this video, well, actually, I wanted to make this video to uh, make a little bit of a, an effort in that direction. And not only share this awareness with you, but also remind myself of the importance of that. That the meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose is to give it away. Because in the giving, we contribute to making this world a better place. We become the change we want to see. And that is of a matter of waking up and realizing I am free to give this gift away. And as we are then beginning on that journey to find that gift and give that away, we find this, our nature. And that we are all connected there. And we can go beyond all the struggles and all the suffering and all the fears. And that's where we change this world. That's where we help create, co-create a new world as we get in touch with that nature in order to give that gift of our own creativity, of our own love to one another. This is something we all can do. We need nothing for that. We don't need the approval of others for that. We don't need money for that. We don't need to have a certain lifestyle for that. We don't need anything for that. It is free. This gift is free. That's why it's called the gift. And there is also the, the power of, of, of the present, of being present, which is a gift. As you, as, as you begin on that journey within yourself, you find that, your own nature, which is this. And this is our essence, our creativity, our love.